Antipsychotics are generally used to treat a variety of conditions, most commonly seen in the treatment of psychiatric disorders like schizophrenia. Most patients affected by these conditions present with psychotic features. Schizophrenia is derived from the German schizen, meaning to split, and freno, meaning mind. People with schizophrenia normally have positive symptoms like hallucinations and delusions, and negative symptoms such as social withdrawal and loss of motivation. These manifestations can really affect a person's life if left untreated. Fortunately, schizophrenia is possible to treat. The first-line drug treatments for these psychiatric disorders are logically called antipsychotics. These drugs target certain chemicals in your brain called dopamine. It is hypothesized that too much or too little dopamine in the brain can create a chemical imbalance, causing psychotic symptoms. There are two types of these drugs. The first and oldest are called first-generation or typical antipsychotics. The use of these has been less common because of the harsh side effects that come along with these drugs. Some examples of typical antipsychotics are haloperidol or haldol and chlorpromazine or thorazine. The second and most common type of antipsychotics are called second generation or atypical antipsychotics. These drugs are favored because of their effectiveness and low side effect profile. Some examples of atypical antipsychotics are olanzapine or zyprexa, ketiapine or seroquel, and aripiprazole or abilify. These drugs have been proven to work effectively in combating the symptoms of psychosis. However, the issue with prescribing these drugs to patients with schizophrenia are that sometimes the patients are either unable or unwilling to take the medication prescribed to them. This is called patient non-compliance or non-adherence. Studies show that around 50% of patients with schizophrenia do not take their medication. Non-adherence to antipsychotics can lead to relapse of psychotic features, decreased quality of life, self-harm, aggression, and self-neglect. This has been an ongoing problem in the mental health field and strategies to combat these issues are starting to rise. In November 2017, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved a drug for commercial resale called Abilify MySight that promises to increase patient compliance. Abilify has been on the market for years, but now this drug has the capability to tell when you have taken your medication, the time at which you took it, and if you skip a dose. The technology inside this pill is no larger than a grain of sand. Abilify MySight uses an ingestible event marker sensor that activates when the pill comes in contact with stomach acid. The sensor then transmits a signal to a patch the user wears on the left side of the body just above the lower edge of the rib cage. This patch communicates with an app on the user's phone. This data can be then shared with the patient's healthcare team. Otsuka, the company that manufactures Abilify, claims that this will improve patient compliance with their antipsychotic medication. However, the FDA states that the ability of Abilify MySight to improve patient compliance or modify aripiprazole dosage has not been established, and the use of Abilify MySight to track drug ingestion in real time or during an emergency is not recommended because detection may be delayed or not occur. This contradicts the manufacturer's claims of improved compliance. Public reception of this drug has been varied, with some skeptical of why antipsychotics are the first drug to utilize this technology when it is common in patients with paranoid schizophrenia to have delusional thoughts about the government and their ill intentions towards the patient, such as listening in on the patient's conversations or controlling their thoughts. So naturally, the patient may be apprehensive to take medication that they feel is tracking them. Additionally, if the patient is unable to comply with their medicine because they are not of sound mind, the digital pill will not change whether or not they take their medication. The alternate solution, which seems more practical, is the depot injection form of the antipsychotic drug Abilify called Abilify Maintena. A depot injection is a liquid form of Abilify, which is then deposited intramuscularly and then slowly absorbed by the surrounding tissue. The depot form of antipsychotics is popular for medication non-adherent patients because it provides constant levels of the drug and patient-physician interaction on a monthly basis. It has been shown that patients taking depot shots are significantly less likely to relapse and are more likely to consistently receive their medication via depot injection. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to see sources or some extra information, click the description box down below.